Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. It's not going very well for Disney. They are doing previews now for the re-themed Splash Mountain, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Mm -hmm. And it's not going well. It's not getting a very good reaction from Disney fans. It keeps breaking down. And we have an idiotic reason as to why Dr. Facilier is not in the Princess and the Frog ride. Disney's yeah. basically ashamed of their very recent movies. Well, it gets me to people who are like, well, he's not, you know, because this happens after the movie. Yes, it does, which we've mentioned. I've mentioned it before. It does happen afterwards, which is why he's not there. But it was a dumbass reason. You shouldn't have changed it in the first place. You should have done the movie. Yeah, and you can look. You can mash up. It's a it's a theme park ride. You can mash up the timelines. Look at look at Star Tours. They had walkers and prequel era and all kinds of whatever. Because George Lucas is like, people ride this ride, they won't add out walkers, right? We have one outside the entrance to the ride, so we got to have it in the ride. And they're like, well, it doesn't fit with the prequel era. He's well, like, That's it okay. yeah, it doesn't fit with Rise of the Resistance. No. But there it is. There they are, right? Um, so let's uh, let's talk about this uh, again. Another daily dose of dismal Disney, and I cannot express to you how disappointed I am. We just got done doing uh, another podcast, and uh, it's it's to see how far this company has fallen. It's just it's it's astounding, especially when you're comparing them to what's going on across town at Universal. It's like, yeah, these guys are not afraid, but Disney is just very cowardly. Let's talk about this. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Woohoo's are back. Uh, again, another woohoo if you go out to Indiegogo back, Shadow Binders, Volume 3. Pick up Volumes 1 and 2 if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can go through Indiegogo. We had a lot of support uh, through our shop, but uh, this will give those of you who missed out the first time a chance to pick up the book again. So let's talk about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Again. Again. Because it just keeps every day you think, okay. This is, it can't get worse. And then you're like, wait, it does. Uh, it's still breaking down as of like, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes before yeah. I recorded this. They were talking about how it's being evacuated yet again. Yes. Um, now the alligator, um, Lewis's mouth isn't working. Yeah, Lewis doesn't work all right. Like, look, I, I okay. I get that they have to work the bugs out of these attractions. But Splash Mountain broke a lot before the reskin and people were like, well, at least they're going to take it offline to fix some of the issues, right? It sounds like they actually added more issues. Yeah, it does sound like they have added more issues. And some of that being dead space and looking stupid, but here we go. Yeah, um, a lot of people complaining about it. Fire alarm currently going off at Bayou Adventure. So yeah, there's still reports of evacuations and breakdowns and whatever. And But here's, here's the thing that chaps my ass. The reason, the reason that Disney did not add Dr. Facilier, and I've heard this from multiple people now, the reason they did not add Dr. Facilier to the attraction, it would have been a no-brainer, is because Disney is trying to get away from religious iconography. And they consider voodoo and tiki's to be religious iconography. So there goes the tiki room. There goes the tiki room. This also explains why they're reskinning Moana. Uh, or reskin the Polynesian for Moana. Yeah, I'm not reskinning Moana. That sounds wrong. Oh my wrong. god! Oh my god! No, that's what that's that's the uh, remember the costume debacle. Do you remember that with Maui, mm -hmm. where they had the the white kid wearing the Maui costume or whatever the tattoos, and they had to, yeah. So um, no, they're uh, they're reskinning the Polynesian for Moana, and they're not adding Doctor Facilier to this attraction. That movie is not that old. I mean, for God's sake, like look at this. So we're like, okay. Splash Mountain is problematic because it has ta uh, ties to Song of the South, even though it doesn't have the human characters in it. Okay, so let's replace it with a less problematic movie, one that just came out like 15, 16 years ago, Princess and the Frog. Oh, no, we can't do that either because it's got voodoo. Oh, okay, well, we'll just use some of the characters. And we'll take all the voodoo out of it, even though that was literally the plot of the movie right. was centered around voodoo. In New Orleans, imagine well, that. I, that's iconography, <laughs> religious iconography. They're gonna have some problems here because religion in general. Because we, they're trying to do a live action um, Hercules. Well, that's great. They're all based on the the mythology and the gods and goddesses of their time. The characters are based on it. That's religious iconography. How are you gonna do that one? And then they have Doctor Facilier. 
in as part of like the stage show, and it's really popular for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Like it's it's a, he's a big draw. They have him come out. People get all excited, and Hades too. How you can have Hades? Hades, God of the Underworld. Well, you can't have religious iconography, can you? Yeah, this this is complete bullshit, especially since they just came out with a new Han Mansion movie, which dealt heavily with the afterlife and it had a little bit in the beginning. They're dealing with voodoo. It is part of the culture of New Orleans. Uh, you know, why even set the why did you even why did you pick the princess in the frog when the plot revolves around voodoo and right. most of the characters have ties well, we know to voodoo. Why they picked Princess and the Frog. Well, a couple of reasons. They the were only other to... black movie we have. They, well, that, basically. That, that, they were trying to do this, guys. I keep telling, we keep telling you, they were trying to do this for years. They started at New Orleans because New Orleans Square. And they've been trying to put it in there. People fought back. They waited until the Black Lives Matter debacle. And then when they did that, they used that as a reason to push it forward. That's why they did it. And the thing is, it could have been, if they had it could have stuck been. to the movie and put Facilier in it, they could have done a really good job with it. I'm, I think it could have <sighs> surpassed Splash Mountain. I think it would have. I but think it would have. they didn't. No. No, you're searching for bands of animals to come play music at your festival. That's a cozy video game. That's a freaking Nintendo game. That's not That's not the princess and the frog. No. You turn her into a frog from Voodoo, and then you follow her through the ride, and then she gets to turn back into Tiana at the end of the ride after you get the big drop and you get away from Facilia. Imagine that being the tunnel at the top, the entrance, the opening to the drop. Like the green big, lights. Oh, with the green cool. light. God, that would have been awesome. And then you just hear the masks and they just appear and they're all like black light, like boom, 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 you're ready. That would have been amazing. A no brainer. I thought when they said they were going to do Princess and the Frog ride, I'm like, okay, this could actually be pretty good because I like the movie and I love Dr. Facilier. I think he's one of the best modern Disney villains. But no, we can't do that because it's too problematic. 15, 16 years after you put the damn movie out, it's already problematic. Yeah, it, it, it's stupid. And then, what the hell? But this whole idea that they're trying to say they aren't doing it because religious iconography is a load of crap. Yeah. Um, you're going to have a lot of things at Disney, and a lot of the films you have in production are going to be in problem. Are going to have some problems because you're also focusing on that. And then they're just saying Tiki's, and that's why they're doing the the, the Trader Sam's are IP themed. No, the Trader Sam mugs are IP themed because they're easier to sell. Yeah. And the Polynesian Hotel being Moana is because it's their mandate to IP everything. But they're probably, yeah, that's concerning because what are they going to do the Tiki Room now? They're going to probably change that, too. Uh, they good, have been... Good luck with that one. You thought Splash Mountain got a lot of pushback. Oh, my God. They changed the Tiki Room before to under new management, and it was so bad that God lit it on fire. I don't... I think somebody else lit it on fire, but that's a whole <laughs> other story. cast member. Uh, I don't know who did it, but somebody really didn't like it. Oh I think they, the fire accidentally, in quotes, happened. I just... I can't... I can't defend this company anymore. And, of course, you've got, you know, dizzy people out there like, well, they're doing it to be more culturally diverse and whatever, and you got to rate this and whatever. It's like, yeah, I got black people actually complaining the loudest that I've seen on Twitter about, like, not only did you take Uncle Remus away... What little shred of that that we had left in the park, you took it away. But but now you, we can't even have voodoo. I mean, it's like I hate to break it to well, you. Well, not that everybody that's you know. No, but, but it's like it was part of the movie. It was New Orleans. the movie. New Orleans is known for some things. Yes. That is one of them. It was it's culturally significant. The plot of the movie. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, Disney? Seriously, I, I cannot. I mean, look, I gave up on defending this company a long time ago, but I am just astounded at how bland, milk toast corporate this company has become. It's a disgrace to the Disney name. Like Walt would never. I mean, God, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, you go to hell. I know. You know, here's the thing, too. It's just, you know. The people that they had work on this is now working on the big expansions now, which is concerning. That too. is concerning. But the funny part to me is that the the a lot of the Disney um, ass kissers, the the pixie dusters, the the you know ball lickers, they're all they're a lot of them are upset about it too. Yes, like um, it's funny because there's a lot of them who are just like oh making excuses because they don't want to lose their media access. But there's a lot of them that are just like. This is this sucks. You know, we're we're going to have a lot more Jenny Nicholson's. Do a heel turn now. But I just and want. We were there before. I want to. I want to. I want to. Yeah, we were. We were doing it first. We actually. We actually uh, had the access. We had the access. We were on uh, Disney's approved media list for years. Um, and I've been to many of these hoedowns. And I think what's probably going on is a lot of these influencers were coached by Disney as to what to say. Like, why isn't Doctor Facilier on? Well, because we want to be diverse. Because we want to be diverse and inclusive. We. 
We picked a movie about diversity and inclusion. Then we cut out 50% of the plot because we found it problematic. It wasn't just, about diversity and inclusion. It was just a good movie that they happened to make, have a, they happened to make a movie of a black princess. It wasn't even about that. It wasn't no, even like promoting it that, that way. Cause that was before they were, they were leveraging it. Well, and that was They're John Musker. It. Yeah. And I think John Musker, um, caught wind of what they were going to do with this, which is why I think he was making the comments he was saying. He was like, you know, basically, they want to put the message first above the story and the characters. But I'm sorry. Kids want a thrill. Like, they're going to go. What's going to happen is they're going to go over to Universal. They're going to get a thrill. Mm -hmm. And they're they're going to ride. They're making the same mistake with this attraction that they made with Star Wars. And it's part of a bigger thing. Like, people are like, why are you getting so pissed off about Princess Ride? That's that's not the, the bigger issue is we love this company. We spent a lot of time working around this company. A lot of trip, a lot why, of money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you getting pissed off about Princess Ride? Okay, there's a couple things to unpack here. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you getting pissed off about, pissed off about Princess Ride? One, well, who's your target audience for the Princess Ride? At least with Splash Mountain, it was it was you know open to everyone. Princesses at Disney usually panders to girls, so you're already like you know excluding you know half your demographic right there, calling it a Princess Ride, and just you know saying that's what it is. But beyond that, people who are a fan of princesses, like my daughter who loves Tiana and loves Splash Mountain, thinks this looks like dog shit. Yeah. It's a princess ride. Yeah, I can get mad about it. Why do you get mad about stuff that about TV shows or cartoons? Same thing, bitch. I don't want to hear it. You know, people are allowed to get upset about it. My daughter, favorite ride, Splash Mountain. She saw yes. this and she was like really had high hopes for it. She's like, she loves Tiana. She's like, this looks like crap. You know, yeah. and the pixie dusters, when the pixie dusters are even like, what the hell? Yeah. You know, you done fucked up. Oh, the princess ride. So that's the same people having a meltdown because, you know, of, of video games. Or, and, and the reason this thing is, this, this thing is, 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 is crap is because they did go full DEI shit on it. Yeah. I'm just like, it's a princess ride. Yeah. So. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, like, look, the, the thing about Disney rides, historically, the, the great attractions, the attractions that everybody remembers. I'm not talking about the, the kiddie rides. I'm talking about the great attractions that are family friendly, that are for everyone that, you know, there 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 is a bit of a thrill with them. There is a bit they were like, look, Pirates of the Caribbean before they pulled the teeth out of it. You know, look at the Haunted Mansion, even though it, it had a sense of humor, it still has some legitimately, uh, legitimately scary well, parts. Actually, the Haunted Mansion, they actually did, were trying to decide between going really scary or really silly, and they just kind of met in the middle and kept it both ways so that there was something for everyone. And that's just it. You have to try to re reach their largest audience you can. But the Princess Ride thing, the same people that are mad because people are mad about it. It's like, it's the same thing. I, I, I just can't believe that they're they're like, hey, we're not going to do this, and this movie's only... For, like, why the hell did you... Why did you do this movie anyway? Like, nobody wants to see Tiana's cooking adventure. Nobody gives a... Ch I mean, that was her it's motivation. Not even it's, it's Tiana's get, getting the band back together. Getting the band, but there... Uh, it's like... It's, it's, um... Oh, what was that movie? Um... The Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah. She's getting her bands back together. Uh, but I'm like, it's just, it's a stupid idea for an attraction. It was it really it's really boring. It's boring. And I it would not surprise me. It would not surprise me if once the general public starts going on this ride, these are, you know, general public, maybe people that have have been on Splash Mountain multiple times and they're going to be like, hey, I expected a Princess and the Frog ride. What the hell is this? What you do is you go to the guest services. And you complain. I'm going to tell you why you complain at guest services. Because you're a guest. You're a paying customer. Your your complaint at guest services has a lot more weight. Well, it than used to. I don't know if that's the to. case anymore. They but, basically just tell you a racist and say bye. Well, that's exactly what they're trying to preemptively do. They're trying to be like, well, they're doing it. You know, I mean, we got uh, Disney Dan here being like, you'll oh, watch yeah. plenty of people trying to reverse racist Uno card themselves with this fact saying Disney doesn't respect the culture. But in all actuality, Disney is responding to those reactionary pearl clutchers by pivoting entirely away from anything that even smells like but, religion. But they based it on New Orleans and the movie was from New Orleans and that's a culturally part relevant of New part of New Orleans. It's not like it's, it's a big part. It's, it's, it's not like, Oh, you know, it's, it's just an afterthought. It's not. Yeah, it's part of the culture. And then I love I'm it like, too, especially since a lot of people who are, who are upset about it are not white. Uh, yeah. Then go ahead. White guy. Tell them all about how they're, 
Pearl Clutchers. And then meanwhile, Disney better, if they're going to do this, then they're going to have to cut all religion. So there goes the live action Hercules movie. Yeah, right. Um, but again, it, that doesn't hold any water because they just put out Haunted Mansion, which takes place in New Orleans. And they but, dealt yeah. heavily with the, the afterlife and spiritual themes. And Yeah, how dare you know, they? And they um, would have been making that before the, they, while they were doing this. Yes. They would have known. Yes. If that was the mandate, it would have been the same mandate at the same time. And that was directed by a black dude. It's called pick and choose yes. whatever you want to you want to claim as the is religious uh, ideology. So yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Good luck with that. I've just I've given up on on any hope for Disney. It's 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 the Disney company in name only. Uh, they don't have any creative people there anymore. They've either you know either they've left on their own. They've gotten pushed out. Um, well, I think it's a matter of like comedy. You're not allowed to be funny because you'll offend somebody. And yeah. I think it's the same thing. You can't be creative because, you know, it'll offend this group or that group. Or groups you haven't thought of yet. You yeah, know? Yeah, it's so stupid. Because it's all about not offending somebody, you know, more than it is about just, you know, making something good. Yeah. Um, and this is this is going to be, this is going to go down as being one of, and a lot of people are already saying it's one of Disney's worst reskins ever. Worst rethemes ever. So, and that's saying something after Journey to Imagination. I was thinking, you said, um, I was thinking that a great movie ride. <laughs> great movie ride. That was, sorry, the Mickey ride was a downgrade and they should have put it in the animation building and left great movie ride. But yeah, let's wrap this one up, guys. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.